Hello everyone and welcome back to This Week in Bone Lab. Today is episode 23 and in the last episode we discovered a cloning machine. Now with my newfound powers of many different clones of myself, I can now maximise my efficiency in finding the best mods for you guys. And so far it's been going pretty well. So some of you may be wondering which mod allows me to clone myself in this way, and that would be Not Enough Photons Mono Director. This mod is not out yet and only available to a select fewer people, but as soon as it comes out I'm definitely going to cover it, because it is an amazing cinematic tool, and hopefully this episode will be a good example of what's possible with it. So let's go and take a look at one of the first mods that we've found. So we've been receiving some sort of large signal for something that we cannot identify, and this is where it first led me to Nighttime Industrial Park, which is a nighttime version of the Halfway Park Sandbox map by a fake. I really like this mod because it makes Halfway Park dark, but also not too dark, and this is something I really like. It'd be super cool to see a few more maps get like some sort of nighttime version like this, because it could be pretty chill and also kind of creepy. I like how the inside areas of the buildings are still kept nice and bright. Whatever the signal is we're looking for, it's definitely not here. So let's move on to the next mod. Yeah, I'm seeing nothing. Yeah, me too. Right, boys, let's get out of here. And here's a quick look at the basement area. It's funnily enough gone from the creepiest area to the nicest area in this map. Alright, so welcome to RP underscore Asheville. This modded map is a port from Gmod and it is absolutely ginormous. Pretty sure it was released early and not fully finished, but to be honest, it's at a level where it basically is finished. It looks amazing. It is quite a laggy map though, just because of the sheer size of it. Are you going to that null body soup? Yes, we have. Good, it's good to hear that they're selling that thing all the way around the world at this point. There you go, thank you very much, my brother. There's this giant almost post-apocalyptic bridge that you can go across. It looks like the perfect place for a zombie apocalypse. So I spawned in a bunch of zombies here. It's a very nice map, but unfortunately the thing we're looking for is certainly not here. So let's head back to the office. Wait, hold up. We're getting something big. We're getting something very big. Oh shit, what oh, is it? Oh yes, finally. Oh, thank god. Let's take a look. There's something in descent, apparently. Well, let's get the fuck out there. Alright, I'm just gonna find us some new weapons. Okay, we've got the Squadron Insurgency Sandstorm Gun Pack by a Stupid Idiot. Let's do this. We have got to get out there. So this is the Squadron Insurgency Sandstorm Gun Pack by Stupid Idiot. These guns actually feel quite unique compared to other weapon packs. They also have a very unique and interesting looking muzzle flash. Along with some ginormous LMG type things with physics based bipods and ginormous magazines. Being a person that can't tell the difference between two different guns, it's cool to have some ones that actually do look and act unique. The pack also covers just about every single class of weapon like shotguns and SMGs and pistols and all that. Alright, so we made it over to Descent, and there's clearly quite a lot of enemy traffic here. Something suspicious is going on. This seems to be where our next mod is. Okay, what the fuck is this crate? An avatar dice? Really? What on earth is the point in another one of these things? What is up my sons? It's the real wigwam here, not that old wigwam. I have unlocked my true form and I've never been so powerful. Introducing the wigwam VR avatar by Hunter MVPZ. I actually modeled the head for this avatar. What do you guys think? And I do realize that at first it definitely does look a little cursed, but trust me, you'll get used to it. If you want to join me and my army of clones, then go and download my avatar today on mod.io. We need as many wigwams out into the void as possible. 
So why don't we try our first ever trial as my new ultimate form. This is the John Wick Experience The Stairs by Jimmers. This map encourages you to bring your own gun, which is pretty cool. So I decided to go with another weapon from the Insurgency Pack. This level is one of those good old classic mini campaigns where you just kind of run through with a few enemy experiences. And I've got to say, this one's definitely one of my favourites. These are honestly brilliant, and I can't get enough of these types of levels. I'm happy that there's always a decent amount of them coming out. And the quality seems to be increasing. People are starting to learn better and better, so keep it up. I was pleasantly surprised by the visuals of this one. It takes place inside of a massive city. And for some reason, all the Omnis are naked, but I mean, hey, they look cool, I guess. Something which I'm noticing with this map is that instead of all the enemies just being spawned in as soon as you load, they actually have procedural spawnings, which is really interesting. Definitely makes it feel a lot more quality than just having everything spawned in at once. Also, I punched this VR junkie so hard that I dislocated his arm through his body, and it was terrifying. I really enjoyed the stairs segment of this level, and I guess that's the name of the mod, so that's why it's so good. And this is why mods are so good, because there's always somebody covering some sort of general game mode. For example, this one has a lot of combat, similar to Attack Trial, when other people might be working on sandboxes. It's a great sense of community, and just always gives people new things to do, and I love it. This level also has a nice amount of fun physics interactions. It's very simple, but just having all these wooden boxes stacked on top of each other really does add to the level, because you can really mess with them. The music that plays here is almost definitely copyrighted as I think it's from John Wick, but holy shit, it's absolutely bumping. You guys have to check this mod out simply just for the music that plays up here. Holy damn. And to finish the level off, you even get a Nimbus gun right at the end to incentivize you to explore outside of the map. Super cool map, love what it's going for, go check it out guys. Guys, I have located Babacorp. And would you look at this? Where's he been hiding all this time? Lego studs, a damn drivable truck thing, and a whole aquarium? You're telling me he built this by himself? That's right, everybody. Babacorp is back making mods. And if you haven't seen my Babacorp is back video, then go check it out. Babacorp is by far the biggest burnout modder. And he has recently returned to modding with three new absolute bangers. First, we have the aquarium sandbox map. Love the aesthetics of this map. I really wanted an aquarium map, and here it is. I'm not going to speak about it too much because I spoke about it loads in my Babacorp video, like I said. But since then, two new mods have came out, like the Lego studs, which are just Lego studs. And by grabbing them, you can also collect them and they'll give you ammo. And who is not satisfied by the sound of a Lego stud being collected? Nobody in this world isn't. And then finally, we have the... What the fuck is that thing called again? And finally, we have the Bindle Bobble Box Truck. This is another vehicle in the Babacorp roster of amazing vehicles. And this one has customizable sprays on the side of it. I can already see this being absolutely great for filmmaking. It's going to be awesome. And on top of that, you can put a bunch of stuff in the back and it will actually stay in the back as long as you don't crash. A really, really solid vehicle. Although my experience with it in Fusion, it is completely broken, so that's kind of a shame. But in single player, this thing is so much fun. Next up, we've got two new mods from Atlas. One of which is the Boneworks Museum Basement, which I know seems like a simple port, but there's actually a lot more to it. This port is extremely faithful. For example, the headsets on the desk you can actually wear, and all the dev tools use the old Boneworks models instead of the new Bone Lab ones. It's kind of nostalgic seeing these things again, although it's really apparent to me that the Bone Lab ones look a thousand times better. <laughs> Which ones do you guys like better? The Boneworks ones or the Bone Lab ones? Not just that, but the NPCs that could be spawned here are actually the Boneworks NPCs. Like the Null Bodies are actually the Boneworks Null Bodies. Although their sound effects don't work for some reason, which is kind of a shame. But these look extremely like the originals, and I love it. Even the weapons on the table are actually the Boneworks counterpart of these weapons and have different recoil to the ones in Bone Lab. A super faithful and nostalgic recreation of Museum Basement. And Alice's next mod that I want to check out is this bin. This is the H3VR Destructor Bin. It's literally just a bin and you can throw stuff into it and the stuff actually gets deleted. Unless it's impossible to be deleted, which some items are. There's a few versions like static ones and ones where you can actually physically move the lid. Something that might be fun for scene building and even functionality in some cases. 
On Thursday night, I decided to stream me trying to complete Bone Lab while my eyes get burnt out of my skull. And the famous YouTuber Bambio actually came and raided my stream. It was a super hype moment. Oh, Wigwam is live right now. Okay, we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid Wigwam, guys. This guy's playing Bone Lab, your favorite game. Okay, so you guys can actually watch and see this guy play the game that you want me to play. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! What? Wait, what? Wait, hang on. Never mind. We're carrying on. We're carrying on. What the fuck? Guys, what is happening in chat? Did Bambio just raid? Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Witness my suffering, okay? When this stream's over, I'm gonna take my eyes out of their sockets and, like, put them in the washing machine for a few hours. Wigwam here, man. I'm out of here stroking my shit, my wig dong. I'm stro So it looks like messing with all this cloning technology has got some unwanted attention. A goblin has managed to make its way into the Bone Lab universe and is causing chaos across the void, and he seems to be starting his own show. The first episode of the Creepy Corner series will be releasing alongside This Week in Bone Lab. It's one of my friends' first go at a series, and trust me when I say it's probably going to be better than This Week in Bone Lab. Please go check the video out right now. There's a card at the top right, the link will be in the description, and the link will also be in the pinned comment. Please go watch this video, it's going to be awesome. And the power that has been bestowed upon us today has allowed us to smuggle resources straight from Monogon Industries. It's a bright future for Bone Lab. And as much as Jimmy didn't want an army of clones, it might be a good idea. Nice job, boys. Is that all? Yeah, it's all that survived. Stop right there. You should have never messed with that cloning machine. Now, look what you have done. You don't know what you are messing with. Who the fuck are you? You're me. Why are you telling, why are you telling me what to do? There cannot be more than one of us at a time. This episode's been bigger than any other. Who even are you still? I'm Evil Wigwam. And I'm not joking when I say I've been mad. Came to this place on a bin bag and now Wigwam ain't seen that. This week in Bone Lane, but when I'm hosted to claim to fame, taking over this what? shit like a simple game and now he's gone, I'm not taking real. the blame. So light up this place like a burning flame, I'm certainly owning my place. Wigwam VR is a nice case where I can steal 5,000 subscribers free. Am I the only one what a disgrace. This? Patch 4 ain't ever happening. The vending machines ain't even changed that. Wigwam guy is just chatting a whole lot of SHATE. Don't believe a word he says, trust me daddy. Only true Sigmas like myself understand the consequences to such a device. And you know what that means, this place is only big enough for one of us. Well then sure it's a good thing that that one's me. They won't be seeing you next week, you optimistic fucker. There will be no patch four cones for you. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, things certainly aren't looking good, guys. But don't worry, no matter what, I won't let this week in Bone Lab end! Somebody stop me. This week in Bone Lab is mine. I am evil wigwam. Ha 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 ha. Oi 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 oi. Ha ha. This week in Bone Lab is mine. You are wo 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 you. cruising for a bruising when you catch me on that new ting and nah, I don't find it amusing, come down and you'll be receiving an abusing. 